Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pella. I'm coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. I'd like to start this morning with a scripture reading from John chapter 5, verses 2 through 18. Now in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool called in Hebrew Beth Zetha, which has five porticos. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, and while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, take your mat, and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your mat. But he answered them, The man who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. Then they they asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take it up and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had disappeared in the crowd that was there. Later Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Therefore the Jews started persecuting Jesus, because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father is still working, and I also am working. For this reason the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because he was not only breaking the Sabbath, but was also calling God his own father, thereby making himself equal to God. Please join me now in a time together this morning in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear God, so many people are looking for answers right now in their lives for so many reasons, and we pray for all your children to be comforted by you, Lord, and all that we may do. Show us the good things we often overlook and help us to be content with what we have. Forgive us when we compare ourselves to others. Forgive us for longing for things outside of you and your kingdom. Please be with our church and our church family on this day. Thank you for loving us right where we are, right as we are. Help us to keep our eyes on you, always. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you right here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great day today.